the hospital is like a whole different world with its own rules and laws. And so many interesting situations happen here every single day. Going into an operating room is scary. What if something goes wrong? But in situations like this, just don't panic. Are you out of anesthetic? No big deal. An experienced doctor knows what to do. Bam, and the patient's ready. Uh, are you sure you're a real anesthesiologist? In the middle of work, you definitely need to keep up your strength. Apple juice is just what the doctor ordered. So, who took my cup? But there's a test jar. So what, it's a sterile container. It's new. Image is nothing. Thirst is everything. Delicious. Yes, yes, come in. What's wrong today? Ew, you're drinking someone's sample? Oh, that's disgusting. It's not what you thought. Uh-huh, goodbye. I feel all better. Oh, what's on your lips? Just don't tell me that's... Ew! That's a weird reaction to some chocolate, but whatever. Do you know what the scariest thing about a hospital is? The line! Or rather, how people act in a line. It turns decent into monsters. But I just needed to ask. We are all here to just ask. Wow, you think you are smart? We know you're tight. You are not getting through. Back of the line or you'll regret it. That's better. You can't fool experienced patients. Being a nutritionist isn't a profession. It's a lifestyle. A good nutritionist will always find a way to approach a patient. Get on the scale. It's no big deal. Stay on a diet and soon you'll be at your target weight. Unfortunately, not everyone is ready to give up junk food. Eating healthy takes so long and I need to be fit now. What an interesting case. I know something we can try. How do you feel about cutting off your leg? So what, just one leg and you'll lose so much weight so fast. Imagine what number will be on the scale. But you'd have to step on it with one foot. How's your balance? What? No way! Give me all this tasteless stuff. Well, that's one more person eating healthy. The shock method works. Anyone can get into an awkward hospital situation. Patients with bad eyesight are at risk a lot. This doctor is kind of unfriendly. Maybe it's because the real doctor just walked into the office? What are your symptoms? Quiet, the doctor and I are busy. Okay, I'm prescribing treatment. Here's your prescription for glasses. Don't thank me. What do I need colored wrappers for? A couple more of these patients and there will be nothing left in my office. Every person gets sick in their own unique way. It's especially interesting to watch the hypochondriacs. <laughs> Dearly beloved, we are all here to hear Pinky's will. She has a fever, although it doesn't look like a fever anymore. 98.2 degrees Fahrenheit? You mean I'm not dying? The good news makes her feel better instantly. What about the will? Are you going to do this to us every time you catch a cold? Just leave me your shoes and let's wrap it up. There's an unspoken rule that pregnant women should be allowed to go first in a line. First of all, it's not easy for them to stay in line. Second, a lot of them throw fits. Okay, pregnancy it is. You do anything to avoid standing in line. Wait a minute, this looks fake. So it's you again? Did you think that if you inflated your stomach, you could fool us? But I can't get stressed in my condition. In your condition, you have got to get out of here because the patience of the people in the line is about to pop. Just like that balloon under your shirt. Ah, bad luck. For some patients, going to a hospital is a great chance to socialize. It's not a good idea to talk in a dentist chair though. And this one time, and then I was like, oh, by the way, I got this tooth filling from such a handsome man. Will she ever stop talking? When the situation goes this far, there is nothing you can do but take drastic measures. Shut it down at the source. That's much better. It's a lot easier to work with noise like this. Real doctors never get out of character. Knife, fork, spatula. 
Stop talking during the operation. Just try this, it's delicious. It's important to be able to cut cake properly, you know? Mmm, that was a good snack. What are you looking at? You think doctors aren't human? They don't need lunch? Summer results in a lot of injuries. I just stood up on the board and then my leg broke. Obviously, it's not the right sport for you. Forget about the skateboard. Try badminton instead. But that's getting kind of tense too. Wait a minute, let's fix this. You need something calm. Chess, maybe? That's a great idea, Doc. But it proved to be a failure, too. Checkmate, Doctor! Plastic surgeons should never be surprised by strange requests. Let's start with Otoplasty. Why does she need it? Who cares? She just wants elf ears. And the doctor does all the work in silence. It's perfect! Now I'm a real fantasy girl! And now I want thick lips, like Angelina's, but better. You got it. Beautiful, but there is something missing. Can I add a little masculinity? Oh, it's not an easy job. But the client's wish is law. Gorgeous, I'm completely transformed, that's for sure. Everybody always forgets about the staff. But if you're in the right place at the right time, good afternoon, I have an appointment. Dr. Pinky, breast physician, at your service. Sorry, not every happy situation has a happy ending. Get out of here and take your bucket with you. Don't get upset, come on, keep your head up, your chest too. Another category of people who go into doctor's offices without waiting in line are other doctors. Hmm, if a medical uniform is a free pass, I have to take that chance. Unfortunately, liars don't usually succeed. Is this a costume party? Put my uniform back. Sorry, you got caught again. Lipstick? I think I know what to do. Do you think all patients want to be cured? That's not true. Some people are convinced that their health is actually too good. This girl is so reluctant to wear glasses, she is ready to be sneaky. Should we do the test? The patient has a cheat sheet. Just don't mix up the letters. Well, you have good eyesight. Just take a few vitamin drops. Oh, thank you, doctor. That's great news. Goodbye. Whoops. Confused the screen with the doors? Hopefully, soon she'll understand her eyes need help after all. Medical wisdom comes with experience. A fracture? Isn't that too complicated for an intern? Well, you are practically a doctor. I can leave you alone with this elementary injury. Just don't mix anything up. Oh my gosh, this is so scary. It's such a huge responsibility. The lack of experience does show. For starters, <sighs> anesthesia. Now I just need to find out which arm to put the cast on. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Well, let's do this one. Wake up, the worst is over. Huh, you have put a cast on a healthy arm? Oops, calm down, it won't hurt for very long. It's a good thing a real pro is always around to fix any mistakes. What do you know about modern technology? Sometimes there is nothing better than grandpa's methods. When it comes to dentistry, that's a great idea. Unwind the thread. The tooth fairy's waiting. Now ready, set, go! Wow, we got a strong patient. The others usually get tired on the stairs. Okay, it worked. Have a good day and don't forget to recommend our clinic to your friends. 
reactions can be different. Some look absolutely normal. But once you leave them alone for a minute, they are bound to do something wrong. Oh, what happened here? I didn't do it on purpose, it just happened! You are acting like a child! Go home and don't come back without supervision! In every nutritionist's career, there's a patient who can't lose any weight! And she only gets bigger from visit to visit. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Your prescriptions don't work at all. Let me go eat my disappointment away. Very emotional, weight gain, irritability. These are symptoms of pregnancy. Wow, bingo! Wait, you don't need a diet. You'll lose weight at some point soon. I promise. People in line think they are invincible. But there is one way of going past them all and staying unharmed. A little lipstick on your face, and voila, the coast is clear. The operation was a success. Doctor, meet the evil genius who has gone through fire and the hospital line. Did you like our new hospital sketches? Have you been in any situations like this? Tell us in the comments! Like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click the bell so you don't miss the funniest sketches on Troom Troom Select!